Hey everyone, this is Peter Charcalis with The Shaving Shop, as well as Ariana and Evans. How are you? I hope uh, all is well. So I'm gonna shave with uh, a soap that's not introduced yet. Um, labels I'm gonna send out to be printed tomorrow. I already ordered um, the jars. It's gonna be uh, cheaper jars, so the, the jars will be a little bit, uh, not quite as nice as this. Um, I'm going through a different printer to lower the cost on printing. So I'm sending that out to, um, I never used lightning labels before. I'm going to, uh, use them. Um, the reason for that, I, I love my printer by the way, um, is I want to keep my cost down, uh, as much as possible. So, um, this soap is meant to be, so this is a new base and, um, it's a, a kind of like a, a spinoff to Ariana and Evans. The purpose of this is to offer um, an outstanding soap um, for the budget conscious wet shavers or new people. I really want to introduce our brand to new people. So the focus is going to be um, um, Amazon for, for this soap. And I'll probably introduce maybe four different scents for, uh, for this line. So um, it's still going to be Ariana and Evans. Um, because I want them to then be introduced to our more upscale brand. So, um, although, although some may not think it's so upscale. Actually, Ariana and Evans is not bad. The club, it gets a little bit risque. Uh, a, the A&E brand is not, is not so bad. Um, so, face spackle. Why do I call it face spackle? Well, this is a completely different base. Uh, it's more like a, a, a cream. Well, it is a cream, so it's very different than my base, and obviously very different than the uh, the, the the shave serum. So, uh, the first scent that I introduce will be a barbershop scent. I have a beautiful geranium note that I I added to it. It's going to be unique, but it's going to be it's beautiful. I, well, I think it's beautiful anyway. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't introduce it. So, um, I'm the brush I'm going to be using is Wild West Brushworks. Beautiful brush with a synthetic knot. And I am gonna be shaving with, I know I posted a picture earlier looking like a shave of the day, but it was before I actually shaved. And, but I decided my uh, my uh, Ralph Faust is a bit dull. I need to uh, touch that up. So I'm gonna be going with a red tip with a uh, Voskhod loaded in here. Second or third use on that Voskhod, not sure. Uh, I'm in, I'm in the, uh, Production space, still not done, but my loft is, uh, I have the floor up in the loft. I wish I could show you guys, but it's still a, it's still a mess. So I'm going to just give a couple swishes. This is thirsty. This soap, um, you can see it's, uh, well, it's a, it's a cream. Um, yeah, just go. That should be enough. Uh, does not have tallow has just lard, so pig fat, um, which some may think is actually uh, better. Uh, it's great, very creamy. Um, I don't have mango. I left out mango, I left out kokum, I've got shea, I've got coconut oil, I've got, um, what the hell else did I put in here? Uh, my mind's going blank. Uh, oh, castor oil. Um, Coconut oil, castor oil, avocado oil. Uh, there's some lanolin. I did put lanolin. Lanolin's incredibly expensive. Um, I have less lanolin than my normal base. Honestly, you can uh, you can you can't tell much of a difference. The post shave on this is excellent. In fact, um, I shaved. I did one. One. This is how I know my Ralph Foss was was shitty. I did one pass uh, on the sides. And I did one side with my normal base and this left side with uh, with this. And um, I, I want to just compare the post shave. So it's great. Let's see if I put enough on this. It's thirsty. Smell, smells great. I really, really like this scent a lot. I'm very pleased with it. I think the price... Oh, so the reason why I wanted to... Uh, the, 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 uh, the jar is not going to be the same jar. It's going to be a little bit less expensive. Printing is a little bit less expensive. I'm not going to have a side label. So I'm going to have the ingredients right on the, well, we printed this here, but 
you can see the, the ingredients. So I'm gonna have the ingredients on the top. Um, price point, I wanna keep this at about $12.99. I wanna keep it at $12.99. I don't wanna go less and I don't wanna go more. So I think that's a great price point for a soap of this quality. And I'm hoping that'll introduce a whole new group of people to our brand. So, I mean, you'll see, you'll see this on social media, but I don't, I don't think I'm going to sell this to uh, retail stores. I'll just sell it at my stores and on Amazon. That's, that's the plan. So I've been asked why, why a third brand? Well, there's actually a, a logical answer to that. I don't know why so many people ask, seem confused. Um, so the reason being, in business, or my business, this is uh, not just a hobby for me. And in order to take it to the next level, you, uh, you need to expand. Where do you expand? Do you continue doing what you're doing and then social media, and where all the other artisans uh, are vying for business, or do you branch out? So I've chosen to branch out in several different ways. Uh, one, my alliances with the uh, fragrance houses, which is introducing new people to my brand. Two, I have a, a very large footprint internationally. Three, introduce that serum, which, uh, the serum, which is great for wet shavers, but better for people that don't even uh, wet shave. I sh we shouldn't say better, but uh, great for people that who, who don't wet shave, but they want a better experience. But they're still going to shave with the, the, the crappy Gillette or Schick plastic crappy stuff. But they still shave, so they may other <laughs> they may go with that. Um, this I want to sell on Amazon. Why Amazon? More people buy from Amazon than any other retailer. Amazon's king. So if you want to introduce your brand. To the masses, you want to sell on Amazon. So that is why I'm doing what I'm doing. In order to, this is not a hobby for me. It was just a hobby and I just, I'd be happy selling 20 soaps a day. Um, this is a business and I want the business to continue growing. My plan is to quadruple the size of this business. It's a good soap. You guys would be very pleased with this soap. $12.99. Is there anything better in that price range? I don't know. I'm not aware of any. Could be. Um, I don't think so. I think it can... Can, this can compare with a $20 soap. How am I able to sell a soap inexpensively? So another part of business, one, you need to touch as many people as possible. That means branching out, selling outside of your comfort zone. We've branched out. We need to branch out more. I need to quadruple the size. You need to... Um, Lower your costs, costs of doing business. How do you do that? By buying in bulk. Uh, I'm fortunate enough that we're at a, a point now where I can afford to buy in bulk. When I first started, I was buying supplies on Amazon, buying bags like this, this size of mango butter. And Sha literally bags of that size, mango butter, shea butter, coconut butter, coconut oil, 
at the local supermarket. Now we're able to buy in bulk. So I could lower my cost, which means that I can lower the cost to you. A year ago, I couldn't introduce a soap like this for $12.99. Couldn't do it. Uh, this soap is slick. Oh shoot, that reminds me. In the ingredients, I forgot to put. <laughs> I have a uh, uh, kale and clay in this. Um, damn it. There's also, oh, by the way, uh, goat's milk in here. Um, so it doesn't have all the same ingredients, but it has many of the ingredients that made my base what it is, uh, which is quite good. Let's do one more quick, quick pass. Christ, I'm at 12 minutes already? Jeez. All right. Um, so when am I going to release this? I have a long trip coming up. I'll be going to the UK and, um, either Spain or, or Italy, um, when I get back. So that's going to be the beginning of, of, uh, you get an idea. This is very good soap. Uh, this could compare with anything else out there, including, including my base, I think. It's not quite, it's not quite. So it's the, the lather is not quite um, as cushiony. Post shave is almost there. Slickness is, all, is almost as good. Uh, not quite as good, almost as good. Post shave is outstanding. Oh, this is slick. Maybe it is a slick. Yeah, it's, it's pretty slick. Um, so, twelve ninety nine. We're gonna start with barbershop. And I'm gonna keep the scents basic. They're still gonna smell great, but they're not gonna be. as complex and as costly to make, but they're still gonna smell great. I may even do, I want to do a lime soap. I may do a, a just a, a, a lime soap. Maybe I'll do it with this. Third pass. Actually, I don't need a third pass, but I want to show you. It doesn't dissipate um, like a lot of soaps do. Uh, I can come back here in a half hour, wet that brush, and and actually do another lather. Um, so, again, the consistency. It's a cream. Um, it's a thirsty cream. That's another rarity. So we're looking to expand upward, outward, in every direction. That's the business plan. I have other ideas as well, but that's what I'm willing to share right now. So that is the reason why I'm introducing Face Spackle, um, a sub uh, uh, a sub brand to Ariane and Evans. Um, we want to expand. We want to touch as many people as possible. So uh, I hope I've been getting a lot of messages. So I hope that explains it. Take care, everyone. Bye bye.